Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I sincerely hope and pray that you and your families are doing well. You all have gotten vaccinated and if not, you guys are in the process of getting vaccinated. So it's been a while since I played with any makeup and I thought today is the perfect occasion. I will do a small makeup look uh, for Raksha Bandhan which is tomorrow. So this video is going to be a get ready with me for Raksha Bandhan. A little bit of a festive look that is why I'm dressed up in my traditional Indian clothes and uh, I haven't really planned anything. I'm just going to go with the flow. I do have some new makeup products which I have had for a while but I've never used so maybe I'm going to use them today and we'll see how this goes so now without talking any further let's get this video started since the time I've woken up I have been feeling very tired and pretty puffy at my under eye area and um, I just wanted like a little lift me up so I went ahead and I used this revitalizing face mist it is from plum from their green tea range and uh, this is the face mist which I showed you guys in some previous haul um, I have used it a couple of times and it really really does just really refresh your face it kind of just you know wakes you up so I use this and I'm feeling pretty refreshed then I went ahead and used my favorite moisturizer again it is from plum and it is from their green tea range and uh, this one is the new variant it is fragrance free and I feel that the formula on this one also has changed a bit the previous one was more lotion like and was a little bit more liquidy this is a wee bit thicker and of course it has no fragrance even the previous one had a little bit of a mild fragrance but this one is completely fragrance free and I feel I'm enjoying this one more than the previous one I've gone ahead and nicely moisturized my face and you guys know that the next step would be to go in with a primer and I'm going to go ahead with my all-time favorite this is from Nika I'll just go ahead and just you know use it at the places where I have open pores at my t-zone and on my cheeks because that is where I have open pores the most I'm going to gently press it into my skin the primer has been nicely massaged into my skin and my face feels pretty mattified. I've gone ahead and moisturized my lips by using my favorite uh, lip balm. This is from Maybelline, the baby lips. You can use any of your favorite lip balm. And here I would like to add that once you have primed your face, please give it a minute or two for it to settle into your face and you know do its magic before you move on to the next product which could be a concealer or a foundation or maybe your eyes. So whatever you choose to do next after priming, just make sure that you give it a minute or two. I however would go in with the foundation next and I'm going to use my current favorite. This is the foundation from the Wet n Wild. It is their photo focus foundation and I must say that I'm really really enjoying it it is a medium to a full coverage foundation I like to go in for a sheer to medium coverage you can definitely build it up and make it a full coverage and um, I just don't want a very cakey look so I'll just give this a good shake and I'm just going to dot it all over my face now Also, don't forget your neck because you want your neck and your face to look of the same color. I'm just going to get all this hair out of my face. Then using a damp sponge, just going to go ahead and start buffing this foundation into my skin. Once my foundation is nicely buffed into the skin, I will go ahead and just use the concealer at my under eye area and I'm using the one from Maybelline. This is the Age Rewind Concealer. I'm just going to use it at my under eye area. I'm going to use a little bit on my eyelids, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead around my mouth and anywhere where I feel that I need some kind of spot concealing. 
Again the same drill, I'm just going to buff it in. Make sure that you're very gentle when you're using the damp sponge because you don't want to be damaging your skin. Just gently buff it in in tapping motion. So now it is time to set that concealer in place. I will go ahead and use this loose finishing powder from Maybelline. This is from their Fit Me range and I really really love this powder. It's got a slight tint to it and a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to use this powder. So I have set the concealer in place by using a loose finishing powder. It is time to do the brows now and I'm using my all time favorite. This is the Brow Artist Genius Kit and I really really love this product. Just, just filling in the ball spots, nothing fancy. Also guys, I think it's been about a year and a half since I actually went ahead and got my brows done. I haven't even plucked out any of my brow hair and um, I'm really still so nervous about visiting the salon. What have you guys been up to? Have you guys visited the salon? How are you guys doing your brows? Do share in the comments below. I would love to know how you guys are grooming your brows, whether you are plucking it with a tweezer or using that um, eyebrow razor which is all over the internet in fact i also got them but i haven't got around to using them maybe one of these days i will go ahead and just use it so now that the brows are in place i will go ahead and move to the most exciting part of this makeup tutorial and that is the eye so today i will be using this new eyeshadow palette from makeup revolution this is uh, the Sofex uh, edition and the variant is Extra Spice. I got this eyeshadow palette a while back but I never really used it. I don't think I've even showed it in any haul but this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like from inside. It's got some really beautiful colors. Maybe I'm going to swatch all the shades in another video but today let's just go ahead with the eye makeup. Use this light brown color first. I'm just going to give it a wash of color all over my eyelids first. Pretty pigmented palette guys. The first color I've used and um, it's very pigmented. It definitely has kickback but the color payoff is really really good. I've used this brown color all over my eyelids. I have concentrated it a bit more in the crease area just to give it a little bit of depth. Then I will go ahead and use this uh, mauve shade. It's more like a berry shade. I will go ahead and just take it on a flat shader brush and I'm just going to place it all over my eyelids concentrating it more on the outer lid. So as you can see, I have run that berry shade all over the eyelid, concentrating more on the outer V and a little bit on the inner side. Use this color all over my eyelid and now I'm going to use the same fluffy brush which I used for the brown color and I'm just going to buff both the colors into each other so that there are no harsh lines. I'm going to do the same thing on this eye, packing that berry shade all over my eyelid but concentrating it a bit more on the inner side, inner corner and on the outer V. So now that I'm happy with the way both my eyelids are looking, I will go ahead and use this shimmery shade. It is again a berry tone shimmery shade. Looks really really pretty. I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger. This is what it looks like. 
it's like a rusty berry shade really pretty and I will just use it at the center of my eyelids you can even go ahead and wet your brush with the setting spray and then just apply it on your eyelids I'm also using this flat brush and using this shimmer shade on half of my eyelid I'm just evening out the edges so that it doesn't look messy if you feel that the intensity of the berry shade has become less you could go ahead and you know take a small brush and just deepen out the edges I'm really happy with the way the shimmer shade is sitting on my eyelids I'm going to go ahead and use a brush and just dip it back into this brown and berry shade and I'm just going to run it in my lower lash line I'll go ahead and use this pencil brush I'm going to dip it back into this brown and berry shade and I'm just going to run it on my lower lash line I know my face is looking all white and very ghostly but I promise you it's all going to come together I have also pulled out a dark blue glitter pencil and this one is from Nika I'm just going to run it in my lower lash line Now it is time to go ahead and add that eyeliner. I will go ahead and use my all time favorite Lakme. Uh, you can go ahead and use a felt tip eyeliner. You can go ahead and use a pen eyeliner. You could use a pencil eyeliner or you could just leave it as it is and pop on some falsies. If you don't want to go in for falsies, you can go ahead and put loads of mascara. But I'm going to go ahead and add my signature wing eyeliner. go and do the inner corner highlight I'm actually confused between the gold and the silver shimmer they're both beautiful and I do have gold and silver work going on on my outfit um, I think I'll just go ahead and use a little bit of a silver in the inner corner and see how it looks Ooh, it is a beautiful beautiful silver shimmer I'm just popping that onto the inner corners and now it is time to load up those lashes with a whole lot of mascara and for that I'm going ahead and using this mascara from Maybelline it is their hypercurl mascara and this is fairly an old product in their range but uh, I only happened to use it the other day and I really really like it uh, it doesn't give um, too much of volume but it definitely lengthen my lashes and also this is not the waterproof uh, version of it I have always 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 used waterproof mascaras and somehow you know while taking it off it becomes a bit too stiff and sometimes it becomes a little difficult so I wanted something which could come off easily so make sure that you curl your lashes I can't find my eyelash curler right now so I will just go ahead and use the wand and load up lots of mascara on my upper and lower lashes both you can go ahead and pop on some falsies if you like I'm going to skip falsies today I mean, can you instantly see the difference between both my eyes I can actually feel that my eyelashes on steroids they have just got so much of length Now it is time to add the warmth back into the face and I'm going to go ahead and use this face palette from Sugar and it has a beautiful pink color blush, it's got a highlighter, it's got a champagne shade highlighter and a contour shade so I'm not going to go all crazy with the contour, I'm just going to just put it on the hollows of my cheek. And now it is time to add the blush. I'll go ahead and use this blush and just place it on the apples of my cheek very slightly because this one is super pigmented. I 
I will go ahead and fix all of this and only then will I go ahead and use the highlighter on my face because once you fix your makeup and then you put the highlighter it kind of pops even more so let's go ahead and set this face then taking the damp sponge I will just dab it gently all over my face this will make sure that all of the powders and all the products that we have used will nicely just melt into each other and will look all put together and now it is time to highlight the face I will go ahead with my favorite highlighter from the wet n wild and this one is in precious petals I will just use a fan brush and just highlight the highest points on my face which is my cheekbones the bridge of my nose using the same highlighter we'll go ahead and also highlight my brow bone and now it is time to add that lipstick but because I have a heavy duty eye makeup look going on there's so much of shimmer going on I want to keep the lips a little bit subtle today I might either go for a nude shade or a nice baby pink gloss um, I have a lot of options over here a pink color like this would also look really really nice then this a light pink color this is from the wet n wild even this will look really really nice I also have a nude shade and this has got a slight tint of pink to it even this will look really really nice this is from Maybelline I think this is what I'm going to go in with first let me see maybe I'll add something else later on really loving this shade of nudie pink on my lips and the one that I have used is from Maybelline and the shade is touch of spice this is what it looks like it's a beautiful beautiful color I'm going to give you a quick swatch this is what it looks like it's not completely nude and it's not pink it's a mix between a pink and a nude and it's really really pretty this is the second time I've used today and I must say that I'm really really liking it so yeah this is the finished look I'm really really happy with the way this look has turned out I'm really happy with the way my eyes are looking the way the makeup is sitting on my face and I'm extremely happy with this lip color I don't know why I didn't use it so much earlier but the look is incomplete without a bindi so I'm just going to go ahead and add that bindi watching this entire makeup tutorial and I hope that you guys try to recreate it and if you do please do not forget to tag me I would love to see your creations and having said that I am so so happy with the way this look has turned out you can go ahead and use any color that you like any of the makeup products you don't have to create the exact same look you can just go ahead and add a nice pair of earrings and put the whole look together I will be skipping earrings today because I'm already wearing a statement ring here I am ready for my Raksha Bandhan celebration so I will say bye to you on this video right here but before I go I wanted to remind you that please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already please like this video share it with your friends and family and until the next time you know the drill. Stay extra, extra kind and be your own kind of beautiful. Bye.